Hi guys, Donovan Becker here with Abstract Throttle and today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what my channel is going to be about. And it's going to be about how you can build a race car for cheap and still involve your family. A lot of guys think that they get married or have kids and they can't work on their car anymore. They can't have a race car anymore and that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm sorry if it's a little windy and you have a hard time hearing me. Um, it, it is what it is. But <laughs> guys seem to think that once they get married or have kids they can't have a race car anymore. They can't put money into it. And like I said, that couldn't be further from the truth. I have a wife and three beautiful little girls, and I have a 1990 Mazda RX-7 sitting here in front of me that uh, I've crammed a 98 Cobra engine in, and over the course of about three years, I've put $8,500 into it, which, as a race car, may not seem like a lot, but for me it is. It, I, don't, I don't really make a lot of money, so... Um, you know, guys, I just want you to know that it is possible to build a race car and have a family and not, not do it on a lot of money. You, you don't have to have a lot of money to do it. You just have to budget and get parts cheaply. The best way to get parts cheaply is honestly friends. Man, just make, make friends. Friends always give you good deals on parts. Uh, this thing's been sitting for about three months in my driveway with the tarp over the engine. It's uh, got leaves all in it. It looks kind of trashy, but... Uh, Hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to throw some money at it and uh, get it all on video show you guys how to do some pretty cool stuff and build a drift car for very cheap. Um, th this, like I said, will be a drift car. I not only have mine, but I have a buddy's car that I do too. Um, I'll be working on that. Probably get it in some videos. I also have my wife's uh, 84 FBR X7 sitting over here behind me. So hopefully soon we'll be able to get some videos cranked out and uh, show you guys how to do some pretty interesting and fun stuff so i'll go ahead and show you my car now it, it's a little rough there's some duct tape holding the uh mass airflow sensor on the intake right now but other than that it's a uh, 98 mustang gt stock bottom end and uh, i converted it into a 98 cobra this thing um uh, I've, I've got quite a bit of money into it. Like I said, uh, the wiring is all over the place. Uh, I've, I've been trying to hunt down little gremlins and stuff. I'll go ahead and open the door here, let you guys see inside. Uh, it's pretty trashed out. I still got to strip all the interior, everything else. But uh, as you can see over there, there's uh, two ECUs sitting over there. It's uh, the the gremlins that I've been chasing down is Ford's Passive theft system which I actually figured out not long ago and uh, Ford has a uh, Ford has a passive theft system and I, I had the passive theft system removed on them and uh, the car w won't start it, it started one time and it, it started one time and it uh hasn't done anything since it, it started and died the the passive theft system kicked in on it and it it won't let it run anymore so a, after that the battery died it totally reset the ECUs and everything else Ford's passive theft system it kills all spark it kills all fuel everything else so it, it kind of makes it hard to get your car running when the passive theft system is in the way and uh, hopefully soon I'll be getting a uh, Excel ECU off of a buddy of mine and be able to uh, get rid of those problems of it not wanting to start. Uh, really only thing holding me back from actually being able to drive it is like I said that ECU and uh, I still got to build a cross member for the transmission and uh, figure out a way to convert the the wire clutch for the Cobra into a um, hydraulic clutch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go after a standalone ECU, an Excel ECU. A buddy of mine has one. He's going to give me a great deal on it. And uh, if, if something happens and I'm not able to get it, he, he is interested in a 350 block that I have sitting in my garage. 
So hopefully we can get that soon, get it wired in, and show you guys how to do that. Um, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe for more.